Just a few years ago when Cardinal Pell was in prison, uh, and I was in Rome for the, the ad limina, the meeting of all the bishops of Australia with the now Pope Francis, I got a message uh, from the Pope's secretary, would, would I be willing to meet Pope Benedict? And I said, oh, I'd be hugely honoured and would love to go and see him. He was in his retirement in a convent in the, the Vatican Gardens. And so I was taken there to meet him and he basically, he wanted to meet me because he was worried about Cardinal Pell and he wanted to know how he was going and he wanted to give me a message for him um, of, of encouragement. But then he started reminiscing uh, about World Youth Day and at this stage he was very frail. His voice was, was a tiny voice but still his mind was very clear and happily his English is very good. Uh, and he started quoting back to me things I had said at the farewell to him at the end of World Youth Day in 2008. Now, how could he remember a thank you speech from World Youth Day more than a decade before when he would have heard thousands and thousands and thousands of speeches in between? Uh, well, it's just an extraordinary mind. Uh, a mind that I think remembered everything. And, and it was lovely that he had happy memories of his time with us in Australia, which he, I think of the World Youth Days that he attended. Uh, it's the one that stood out for him. Uh, and, and that includes one in his own homeland before ours. Um, I think he enjoyed it most. I think he uh, had a rapport with the, the crowds of young people here that he perhaps was greater than anywhere else he experienced. But for whatever reason, he, he loved the boatercade. Uh, he's coming into Sydney Harbour as his way in. Uh, those things were, were great memories for him. And I'm, it's a lovely thing to know we gave him some happy memories here in Australia, that he gave so much to us and to the world, to humanity, uh, that, that we gave him uh, some happiness in his time here in Australia too.